Yo, we just made it to Lisbon and there's a little bit of sun out and we're headed to lunch. We're a bit jet lagged and we're in this really beautiful room with all this amazing tile. That's it for now. Just stopping by for a quick intro. Hope you guys enjoy Portugal. Well, it's a week in Portugal. Actually, let me just talk instead of rushing off. Week in Portugal, we'll start off in Lisboa. Then we're heading down to Comporta, and then we'll go up to Porto. And weapons of choice. Texas Leica. I'm pulling things out the bag so things are getting kind of crazy. Oh, look, a little special, a little special addition to the family. Leica sent over the 50 Sumalux. Can you guys see that? Can you guys see that? You can see it. 50 Sumo Lux. I'm going to show you a 50 this trip. And other than that, got some uh, Portrait Ultra Lux. Got some cold. Got some medium format. And then the M6 with the 28 Sumo Cron. Let me just add it to the mix. Just so we got it. All right, so that's the weapons. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Portugal. outside of the hotel and I've already taken all these photos. This one's about to be crazy. y'all this is officially day one and we just left breakfast babe what was the name of the spot that we just left maki super dope spot uh pretty good food actually let me not call it super dope it was cool i don't want to count yeah it was like a hold on y'all yeah it was like a cool ceramic shop slash cafe slash wine bar but it's breakfast so we didn't have any wine um we're about to check out of our hotel and check into Silent Living, which is where we'll be staying for the next two days and I'll be photographing there. We'll be taking some cool pictures there, but right now we're out enjoying the city. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this. We just left lunch. Oh, the waves are kind of too loud for this. We just left lunch. Um, we went to Ponto Penal. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> Let me walk away from the waves. Um, lunch was fire, yo. Um, if you're ever here, order the shrimp. That's all I gotta say. Back to Lisbon. Six 
20 something in the morning. Um, sunrise is about to happen. I'm headed to some part of Alfama, which is the neighborhood I'm staying in. I'm gonna walk around. Um, it's, it's been a rainy last couple of days, so hopefully I'm gonna get a sunrise. It looks like we will. The clouds are kind of weird, but if anything, I think at least we'll get some golden hour. Um, quick update on camera stuff. I have been completely neglecting the Texas like this. Mostly because I've been enjoying or trying to put the 50 through its paces, trying to enjoy that lens and kind of what it offers. And I also kind of feel like that 50 millimeter focal length is very similar to the 40 millimeter focal length that the Texas Leica has. Um, not happy about it, but I'm just noticing that I'm not bringing the Texas Leica out whatsoever because I like having the M6 and the M10 just in case I want to switch the lenses for whatever setting or scenario we are in at that moment. So it's been weird. Um, I'm actually gonna edit some of the M10 files probably when I get back to the hotel and uh, kind of look through them, maybe share them on IG, kind of see the response, see how I feel about them. But I uh, just want to give you guys an update on that. this little viewpoint it's a little busy it's a little crowded i grabbed a couple little angles but i don't really like shooting where other people are it looks like this location is it's a hot spot usually when this happens it's kind of cool though usually when this happens i usually I always see it when everyone else is zagging so i just find unique compositions in a place that i thought i was going to get something else so it's cool unique challenge but too many folks What's up y'all? I haven't been checking in. It's actually been crazy. Yesterday, it pretty much rained all day. I got out in the morning, which you guys know. And that was pretty much it. We had a nice little lunch. It was cool. Shot the hotel, just kind of basically chilled out until dinner, which we ended up having an incredible meal at the hotel, but more on that later. Um, we're checked out and we're actually grabbed our rental car and we're headed to Comporta. We're about to drive down um, to Comporta and it's gonna be, oh wait, look at this shot.
Yo, good morning, YouTube. Um, this is my first morning in Comporta, as you can see. Golden hour, sunrise. I am currently walking over to the beach. Uh, we're gonna see what we have. Um, dang, I'm excited. Uh, got both M6. And kind of the, the thing for the whole trip. Sorry, Texas like a uh, comport it looks really nice though. Um, I'm excited to take some photos this morning and see what we can get. Alright y'all, let's do it. So I am back in town. The beach itself was a bit, a bit of a miss. I took a couple of photos, but nothing too crazy. What I will say though, so far, Comporta has been really beautiful. It's definitely somewhere where I, I kind of want to look into buying a house. It's like a second home. Um, it just seems like a very dope place to be. But the other thing I wanted to talk about is these houses. I've been really inspired to shoot some of these houses, which has been kind of um, my focus. YouTube, what's up, y'all? I wanted to check in really quickly. Now that we've kind of settled in, we're chilling in Comporta. We're at this beautiful property, Silent Living. And I thought it was a great time to kind of sit down and talk a little bit about the trip so far. Some of my thoughts on photography process and on Portugal as a whole. So far, this trip has been... Um, there's been some ups and downs as a photographer you can imagine anytime you travel somewhere and you run up against rain it's not the best situation you you're hoping for sunlight the entire time that you <laughs> that you're at the destination just to kind of maximize light right so we had rain every single day in Lisbon um, pretty much the entire time we were in Lisbon 
we had pockets and moments of light and we tried to do our best to get out there and maximize that time but we did what we could we even came across a couple hell storms <laughs> one in comporta last night and one while we were walking around lisbon so the weather hasn't been amazing but you make do with what you can also with that in mind i've been shooting with the m10 and the m6 i brought the texas leica but since I have this special treat of having the 50 millimeter Sumalux, which Leica sent me over, it's been really hard to bring out the Texas Leica. It's been really disappointing. It was, I noticed it maybe day two that I was having a tough time bringing it out because with the 50, with the 28, I like being able to switch back and forth, um, kind of. But. I don't like bringing more than one camera. This has already forced me to bring two cameras. So bringing three cameras out while I'm just making photos and walking around just does not make any sense. So because I want to shoot with this 50 so much, I'm only bringing out these two cameras and kind of swapping them back and forth on each body based on scenario and situation. I honestly have not enjoyed it that much. The 50 millimeter lens itself, I think is incredible. It has the closed focusing system. It's a focal length and focal range that I'm not used to, which allows me to make unique photos that I've never made before, especially portraiture and really tight still lifes. It has this cool closed focusing system that I can use on the M10. It's great. Philosophy-wise and approach to my craft, I think it's not great. I realize more and more I just need simplicity to make the things that I want to make. It's really cool to have options, but these options kind of paralyze me once I'm in the moment. I don't like having this feeling of, oh, I wish I would have had the 50 on there or dang, I need to go put the 28 on there. That back and forth of indecisiveness can cause missing of the moments. Light can move. Things can change. Shadows can come in. Anything can happen. And while it can work in a lot of scenarios, especially still life, calm moments, shooting hotels like this, it's no problem. But in out in the world scenarios, I realize the mental exercise that I'm doing, I'm not taking photos. I'm thinking about equipment and I don't I'm not into that. But all that to say, it's been amazing. I thought this would be a good time as well to ooh, almost knocked over the rosé. That means I should sip it. I think this would be a good time to show you some of my favorite photos on this trip that I made with the 50. Take a look. Can't believe I almost knocked over the rosé, y'all. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed those photos a little bit. That's a mix of photos with the M10 and the M6. I figured it would be nice to throw some of those up on the screen, just specifically, um, just to kind of highlight the lens itself um, and not just everything that I've been taking so far over the trip. Um, after this, though, we are headed up to Porto for the last leg of our trip. It's been a lot of fun. Portugal as a whole has been really refreshing for me. I thought I loved Italy the most. I have really fallen in love with Portugal. Um, I think it's really high just based off the energy, the people, the beauty of the place, of the country, and the diversity. I'm really enjoying seeing people who look like me around here. And Italy is amazing. It's stunning. But I don't see a lot of black people. And... Maybe that's not important to you, but it's nice. You know, it's comforting in, in sorts. And familiarity is nice sometimes. Um, so I've enjoyed that. 
And also the food and the culture scene and the cocktail scene, coffee scene, it's thriving out here. It's really cool. So, I mean, I would put Portugal high on your list if you've been thinking about it. Um, other than that, let's send it to Porto. Sunrise in Porto, and we have a special guest. She's loved Porto so much, she said, I'm getting up to sunrise with you. So, we've got a few ideas of where we're gonna go. I'm gonna stop by this Sao Bento train station since it's right around the corner. And then we are probably gonna check out some, maybe catch an overlook, go to a garden. We'll see, you'll see. certain places and to me I always give it everything I have once I'm on that flight it's over so I always try to push through mornings like this when it's just nice to be chill I mean every morning honestly so it's real nice to just chill <laughs> but I don't know man I guess I want to be great y'all we have made it it's afternoon by the way i haven't seen y'all since sunrise which i honestly it was a fail i saw a couple scenes but it wasn't much since then we've had some breakfast some lunch now we're walking around this some beautiful wine. park some wine i oh, really had lunch what am i talking about i'm starving just checking in it's been a minute keeping the vlog vibes going it's the last day so I know you guys at this point have probably seen a lot of photos, a lot of moments. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. I'm sure I'll sign out, but if not, see you guys next episode.